uh, end section of the of a two acre field that I wanted to put this stuff on. Um, really, really, really wanted it to come up good right up there where there's that red clay. And I sewed it in super thick. Well, drilled it in super thick. But with lack of water, uh, it's not doing so good. I mean, there's there's some in there, but uh, it's not doing so good up there. Now, this land right here just is sand. And then you get over there and there's another clay spot. And it's doing pretty good right in here. You know, this stage of the game, it looks like corn. In fact, the first time I planted this stuff, not knowing anything about it and not knowing a whole lot about, you know, this crop it started coming up I thought hmm I got corn here because it looks a whole lot like baby corn but you can get a lot I got this in here thick like I wanted it and I'm just you know got some weed pressure in here because I'm not gonna do anything about weeds I'm just gonna let them do their thing and the lands all messed up from the you know the plow being so aggravating. I got dips and gullies, but I'm gonna fix that later. But it's got some serious, serious rolls in it. It's the first time I've actually walked out here and looked at it. But it's coming up, it's working. Uh, I'll walk on up here, show you. What, you can see the, you know, it's planting on the narrow rows, seven inch rows. And when you get up here to this red spot, I mean, right there, it's just nothing. But in this red spot here, you can actually see that you're going to have something. It's going to grow. But uh, that's some super sand right there. And then it changes to clay there. But I got some of it coming up in there. That's good. But a lot of this, this land is just, you know, that plow with that trip thing tripping out all the time like it did um, once you mess up land like this uh, with a plow or a disc set totally wrong this needs to run level like that if you get them messed up like that they'll create a ridge but anyhow I'm not worried about it because it'll be two years before I try to put beans on this again I'll let this grow up mow it once let it recover from the mowing, and it'll make a mess of seed. Um, seed will fall back to the earth and reseed the earth and get a second crop in the second year on it. And that'll put a tremendous amount of this green leafy uh, organic matter in the ground. I see the deer been walking around out here going, what's this? <laughs> you probably don't like it. It's fine with me. All right, let's go look at that other spot that I'm doing the same project on this year. This is the other uh, sweet grazer sorghum project. And you can see, let me get, I'm on the corner here, so let me try to give you the view I'm talking about. All right, if you look right out across there, thick, growing, and growing on limited water. Now, panning across here, and if you look right out across there, same thing that spot that spot and the far side of this field are in good shape but the center out here is red clay and it was almost uh, th three you know three years ago lost the ability to get beans to grow out there i mean they just wouldn't come up i mean they'd come up about like that and then die that'd be it but if the glasses are picking it up I went all over this little piece. I drilled out the red. I mean, I went that way, then I went that way, then I went around in a circle, and then I went over that way and that way. So you, somebody would look at this and say, what happened? <laughs> it, it's like you can see the rows, but they go every which way. I, I used up all the rest of the seed over here because I want this stuff thick. I want it to make a whole lot of um, silage, um, organic matter. But if you're walking up through here, hold my head straight, I'm wearing these glasses. I got pretty doggone good um, amount of the stuff coming up out there in the center. You see the little tiny rows. I mean, they're struggling, but they're coming along. And I did lime this 
because I knew it was so poor. Um, and I put a little bit of fertilizer on it. Probably shouldn't have put the fertilizer as dry as it is. <coughs> Nitrogen and dry weather don't go together real well. But it's coming up. So, you know, get some rain on it, leave it alone, let it do its thing. I mean, this stuff gets up tall, big stalk. I mean, I'm looking down at this, how well this is doing right here. And again, it looks like baby corn. But uh, real pleased with what's going on over here. Now, the other side of this field is where I got rid of the last of the soybean seed. Let's go over there and take a look at that, and I'll remind you of what I did over here. All right. This little piece of land right here, I had the finishing disc, the RWA, behind the 4020, and I shot through here and, and broke this up. But I had that water pump problem, and water was coming out the weep hole, and I said, no, nah, I'm going to go put this tractor up, and I'm not going to risk messing this thing up. I actually started noticing that problem uh, over with the Allen field, and I did not cultivate the north side of that field and I actually planted into uh, pretty hard ground I mean the whole story on that is I went over there and worked up that whole field and then it got hot and dry the dirt was powder dry and I didn't plant it I waited two weeks uh, and then we got a little bit a little dab of rain and I went over to the south side of the field with the uh, cultivator field cultivator rolling baskets on the back of it Massey Ferguson product and I worked up about three acres of it because I knew that's about how much time I had that I could put into it before I had to go to work. And I got it there and planted it. But I noticed that water um, leaking again on that water pump issue. So I put tractor up. And when I got back time to where I could go back and finish planting the Allen field, I said, no, I don't want to run 4020. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to go out there and set the maximum down pressure on the grain drill and get what I get. I was getting a little bit disgusted with, with things, and I just I did one of those get what I get things. Well, it worked out beautifully. Now, when I got to this, this was a weed patch, and I wanted to get rid of the seed. And I mean, this was such a thick weed patch. I said, okay, for the 10 minutes it'll take to do this, I'll crank the 4020. I cranked it. I came over here. It, you know, the few minutes it took to do this, and then I saw that water coming out, and I said, no, I'll put this thing up, so I did. I got over here with the grain drill and drilled seed in here, went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and that is a pitiful stand. I don't know, did the deer get in here and mess this up? I don't know, but it is pitiful, just completely and totally pitiful. Probably one of the worst stands I've ever seen in this little patch. And I, I'm thinking it must have been the deer. They must have come in here and said, oh boy, little tender soybean plants, because that's when they really like them. And then the fact that it's been so dry. Anyhow, I finished this. There was still seed in the grain drill. Not a lot, just a little bit. And I said, what the heck? It seemed to work so well up there in the Allen field, because at that time they were up about like that, and I could see real nice uniform rows. I went across this this grass meadow strip into this field that I was intending to do the sweet grazer sorghum thing on and I said well wait a minute the, I can get about four passes on this side of the field soil still good I'll just put those beans over there and that land I didn't touch it it's hard as rock um, I think it had been since last year when I worked it up and then I did have some bad ruts in it up there where we got stuck and I had fixed the ruts and lightly gone across it and that was it but it was hard as a rock. Now, let's walk over there and let me show you how well, well, let me just show you how that did. Unprepared, hard as a rock land. Prepared land, crappy. Maybe the deer did it, I don't know, but crappy, I don't like it. Let me see where deer, groundhog, something or another got in here and went to eating. And on up here, now there's a lot of weed crap in here because this, hasn't been sprayed. I knocked down that uh, cocoa berry on the corner with the backpack when I came by here one morning. But this ground was hard as a rock when I rolled along through here. And look how decent these rows are. I mean, not bad at all. 
of course they're on over in that right there too and that's a bunch of beans that I mean, couldn't even cut those last year it was so wet couldn't get in here we I mean we got stuck right up there anyhow this is uh, impressive but I was shocked how well this came up I mean it's not perfect wouldn't expect it to be you know it's dragging a grain drill a grain drill not a no-till drill across ground that is very hard was very hard and got these little rows 